Okay, in this task, it's uh, like this. Whenever we have a specific cell in any worksheet or in any workbook, it has its own property and some kind of method, which is an action performed in that object or cell. So it's not it's not only for cell, but it's a range, okay, or the entire worksheet, right? It depends on, but each object in the workbook it has its own property and method so you could define it by yourself or it has already pre-existing uh, default properties or method in there okay so for example uh, the range's default property is just a value so you don't need to mention we want a value for that so for example range a1 is 1 is same as range a1 value is 1 because that's the default one but you can change this one to something else, maybe the color, okay? maybe the background color, or the, 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 the font size, like that, right? So to catch that one, I recommend to use macro features, right? Just try to change colors of background and the colors of uh, font and change the font size, whatever, and record it, right, using macro, and see the code. Then you are going to see many dot something in there right and give some some information about it then you could use that one for your own code okay so in here what this one do we don't need to do it right it's just look at here what this one do is in range a1 which means cell a1 or 11 uh, cell 11 we want to put 2005 in there okay so that's it so it's only explained by value but you could uh, see many different uh, title here, okay? value, color, size, whatever. Okay? So please use your macro features in there.